This episode brought to you by Madoff. Click here to buy now. Buy these shirts or eat shit. Click here. Buy now. Do it. Here's something I wish all picky eaters would eat. Buckshot. <laughs> Welcome to the best show in the universe. I'm Madoff. Ever go to a restaurant with a picky dickhead who insists on customizing everything about their order? They can't just order their food, eat it, and shut the fuck up. They have to customize and micromanage every little detail about their food so they have the perfectly douche delicious meal so that their delicate palate isn't sullied by an ingredient that they might not like. Boo-hoo. The first thing these chewy choosers do when their meal arrives is to scrutinize it like a 9-11 truther with a fresh commission report. They feverishly pick apart their meal while going over a laundry list of customizations to make sure that their precious order is just so. Otherwise, Princess Fancy Pants might have to lower him or herself to picking things out of the food or, God forbid, just fucking eating it without crying gallons of tears. What pisses me off most about these delicate flowers is their sheer arrogance. They think they know better than everyone. By customizing your food to such a high degree, you're giving a big fuck you to the chef who had to compete against other candidates for this position. A chef who has years of experience cooking and has a career in making food. A chef who's probably gone to culinary school and had to work in some shithole restaurant to get experience and certification to work his way up to become head chef to make a menu that you can enjoy. And what do you do? You shit all over it with your stupid customizations. You're saying Sally Muffin Top knows better. <laughs> Chefs are trained to know which ingredients go good together. They know which flavors complement each other. And by omitting a certain ingredient, you might be throwing off the balance for the entire meal. While the entire restaurant has to come to a screeching halt and dinner conversation ends, while the server sits there jotting down an entire page full of notes for your stupid instructions. And God help you if you grab that salt shaker. You don't know shit about cooking, which is probably why you're in a restaurant to begin with. If you did, you'd probably have your own restaurant where assholes could come in and customize and critique your life's work to the point where it's not even recognizable. If you're so sure you can make a meal better than an expert with years of experience, tell you what, Chef Boy, our douchebag, why don't you just stay home and make a meal yourself where you can spend all night customizing your bonsai dinner like a neurotic landscaper. And don't forget to add the buckshot. That's it for now. Till next time, I'm Matt Ops. God help you if you grab that salt shaker.